Dave Gardner here, and I want to talk to you about a brand new software that's going to allow you to drop all of your favorite pictures and videos from any event just like that. So keep watching and find out how the Memory Place can help you get everything uploaded and sent to you within seconds, whether it's just a real quick QR code, whether it's just clicking a link, whether you're talking about baseball games, softball games, lacrosse games. Obviously, I'm a lacrosse coach, so I'm prefer preferential to that. But in a classroom for teachers, talk about kids in the high school level more so than elementary and middle school using things like their uh, phones and their uh, laptops, their Chromebooks. Anytime an image is there and you want to get it quickly to you, otherwise you say, hey, can I get those pictures or can you send me that, please? Next thing you know, it's a week later, you still don't have it. These are things that are going to speed up the process. So I want to introduce to you the memory place. Right now it's in uh, development mode. By the time you're seeing this, it should actually be live. We've gone through, there's a series of tests that have actually taken place. So if we scroll down in your dashboard, right now there's 12 uh, files and 12 groups that have already been tried out and tested. Obviously, when you log in, this will be blank because you're going to be creating your own. So for example, you would create a new event. So we're going to go into my event, for example, mine's DG testing. And I was able to title it and basically just add some text. Please send me the best pictures you have with DG from the past. So for example, you can go in and you can edit that. Notice I just have my full link here, memoryplace.com slash go to slash, and then whatever you wanted after that would be where people would be directed. Obviously that's not gonna be always easy to tell people to go to, and we can add an image there and I can say, okay, please send me the best pictures you have. You can edit that however you want. This random name is just for your, uh, the event, excuse me, is for your reference. The custom greeting is what they're gonna see. So. I updated and uploaded a picture of me from many years ago in my times in the Peace Corps. So I'm not going to change anything, but I want to show you what that actually looks like. And so if we were to copy that address, excuse me, I copied it. It's actually going to open it in a new window and we're going to see the same things we just saw on that previous page. And so, for example, DG testing, because I'm just testing this. That's my event. And then please send me the best pictures you have DG for, uh, DG from the past. Okay, so uh, if we go back there, I do correct myself. I believe I said the event would not be seen, but yes, they will see that. And so what happens is, if you notice, this is an open account, so people can actually add this. And I added a bunch of them, but I've just noticed that even one of my friends has added a couple more, which is really cool. So I didn't know that those were there. I haven't seen these pictures yet. So even I'm surprised as I'm doing this live that there's been some more added. These ones I just tested out and put in there on my own. And so once these things are uploaded, people have the option of being notified of future pictures and when the whole album is is uh, updated as well. So notice how it says, notify me when new content is uploaded. So when we click this, they have an opportunity to enter their name and their email, and then they will be on your specific email list for this event. And so they can actually find out what is going on. And so if we go back to the account for a minute, I'm gonna close this. There is, and I'm not gonna go in depth because there's a lot of training videos. All you gotta do is click any one of these training videos and you'll see where it says email your guests. We have a whole email autoresponder system that's tied to this. We can thank our uh, people for uploading pictures into the file and into the event. We can uh, tell them when new pictures are out or maybe we can just send them something else. Maybe they wanna do the same thing for their event and maybe they wanna use the same software. So hopefully your brain is clicking a little bit and how this is really gonna work because you could go to someone's wedding and as a guest of someone else's wedding, and let's say you're going to their wedding, you could say, hey, I have this software. All you gotta do is put a QR code and we can, blop, we can plop all of your pictures or all your videos that people wanna share all on one, one website. It'll be available for everyone to see, and it can be available as soon as you want to show them. Now, that's one of the cool things. You can make it active or you can keep it private. And so if we look at the difference here, make public and make private, right now mine is public, and that's why we could see it. But if I wanted to click this, make it private, it would go away and there would be no more pictures that we would see. We would only see, you know, some of the headlines and we would see some of the welcome pages. So, for example, if we go back and we click this out and we go in and we want to do the upload link. And so if I click on the upload link, we're going to see something very similar. And notice how this one, for example, is just on farm. So this is a different example I'm using. So if I wanted to upload videos to the rural farmland and mountain views, all I would do is click upload videos, and then I can choose whatever 
options I have. And then I have the option if I want to be notified of that or not. So for example, let's just go into uh, one of my pictures. Let's see if I happen to have um, a field picture in here. Let me see, we'll go into the phone. We'll go into uh, a trip maybe. So here we are hiking. Uh, let's see, and so let's just say here's, here's a field, here's some mushrooms. So if I wanna upload that in that, I can just click the upload. And if I wanna be notified of that, then what I would do is fill in. Now I don't wanna be notified from this album because again, this is just a test, but you would just enter your details right there. So I'm gonna say no thanks. And it says, wait, would you like to have your free account? So again, hopefully you see what's going on here. I can create my own free account after I do that. So not only do you have the ability to be notified of just your pictures, but also if you wanna be able to get a free account. So I don't want either of those, but if I wanna go into that thing, so this is the one I just clicked, I believe. Oh no, sorry, it was the farm one. Let me go back and we're gonna click on the farm or we can upload and view our pictures. So here's the picture I just took. So again, there's that one with kind of like the mushrooms looking and that picture wasn't there. Now, let's say we don't want it. And let's say you've gone to an event and people have loaded up all their pictures. Before you release it, I can click on this and I can delete that picture. So notice it deletes it. The original picture is back there and you're good to go. And this one again is not public. So one of the cool things is, and I, again, I'm not gonna do this because I didn't set up this test. This was one of the other developers that set up the test. If I click to make this public, one of the cool things is it will then send an email to everyone who's registered that they wanted to know when that uh, that that event or that, I guess that profile or that public event in specific a folder is actually available. Because again, these are basically all different folders. So we have different tests that are going on. And so for example, if we go, this is the one that I clicked my wrong one. I wanted to click my upload link, not the other person's upload link. And so notice this was the original picture that we had that we were editing. So notice that the original upload link, you don't see all of my pictures. When I showed the public link, so this is my actual public link, my actual website. If I wanna see things, or if I wanna then share it in my follow-up email and say, hey, just in case you didn't get those pictures, or maybe even three or four days later, or a week later, or a month later, when you're like, oh my God, I'm so happy again of all the pictures you guys sent me. And you know, I went through the final updates, I moved some stuff up then they would see the full website that has all of the pictures. Now, one of the cool things is that now your friends and your family have the ability to go through and they can download pictures. So let's say they click on this picture down in the bottom corner, there's a little link. They can actually download that file and save it to their own computer. So maybe they wanna print their own pictures. You know, Maybe they didn't have pictures available and they wanted to print someone else's picture. You know how people are, people get excited when they see themselves in pictures that they didn't know existed. So maybe they wanted to print a picture out that they didn't know existed before. So again, just a cool feature. You can also dump all of the pictures at once. So for example, let's say we go into this, my DG testing and upload, we can actually download all the images at once. Now, one of the things I do wanna point out, you can also upload videos and the video streaming is very quick. However, you cannot download the videos because that would take up way too much space and would cause uh, too big of a zip drive to exist. But just to show you some reference, notice the little icon here, that little play button, that is a video where everything that looks like your little camera, little sun with a little mountain escape, those are gonna be the pictures. So really cool uh, thing here. Again, it's called Memory Place. How you're gonna be able to sell in, excuse me, sell and share, not sell, but share your pictures you want to sell them, you can do that too, I guess. Um, with reseller tools, there is again a lead capture system. So you can set up a follow-up. Like I mentioned, when we go back here, sorry, this one here, if I send someone to my pictures, we're going to go through and we're going to upload photos and videos. They're going to click that button and then they're going to pull it off their phone. So the question is, okay, well, how does it work off the phone? I'm going to cancel this, same process. When you go through, we're going to go back to home you're gonna have a QR code. So I mentioned, for example, at the wedding, you're gonna print out possibly a QR code. So on your phone, you're gonna go through and do this. So again, here's my cell phone, hopefully it comes in. I got nothing there, I'm gonna swipe up, show my face here, we're gonna swipe up. So there's my phone, I'm gonna open up my camera 
And what we're going to do is I'm going to take a picture of that. And so you can't really see here, but you know, notice it's just the camera. So I'm not really doing anything. The only thing I'm going to press is the link and I'm going to turn it right back around and we're going to see that same picture that we just saw of me a minute ago. And so I'll, I'll hold this in close and hopefully we see the same thing. And so as I do this, we're going to upload pictures and we're going to take it from our photo library in our phone. And so, for example, here's one of me the other day. Uh, I did a little video of lacrosse. So let's say we'll do the little lacrosse video. And um, oh, so hold on. I, I don't want the I want the last one. So or, sorry, the first one. So I got my first video and then there was just a picture about an event that was going on in the lacrosse world. So I'm selecting those two images. And so I selected those two. They're, they're lit up. I'm going to show the two and it's going to give me an example of what they are just to just to pull and show you that it pulled those two from your phone. And then what we're going to do is just click done. And then, oh, sorry, at the top, we're going to click add. And at the add, we're going to see again, there's that option members, uh, memory uh, place. And it's got the two videos. One's a video, one's a picture. It says they're both accepted. And then I'm going to click start upload. And once the upload, you notice that upload speed is going pretty quick. And so it is going through the video. Obviously, it's going to take a little longer, but it is relatively quick. So just notice in a couple of se uh, seconds that was up. Now, that was only a 12 second video. So just to give you the idea, depending on the size, the quality and how big your video is, might take a little bit longer to do that. Now, now I have the option to get notified again. I'm going to click no because I'm already in that list. And then wait, do you want to be uh, getting your free account to try it out yourself? So I don't want that as well. And then notice it says coming soon. And then this one might update because it is already actually open. So I don't know if this one's, I'm just going to refresh the page. Yeah, it just still, still says coming soon because it went back to the main website. But when we go, now just that I've done this, I'm going to go back into my account and I'm going to refresh my pictures in my account. And notice there's those two pictures. So super cool that there's the one video. So here we go, I'm just gonna show it to you. Happy Lax Day 2022. And so I play lacrosse, I coach lacrosse for 15 years, I publish a lacrosse book. So in the lacrosse world, I can use this product and I can tell my coaches and I can tell my other parents and my other players, okay, send me your pictures. I'm gonna do a new training video. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make an upgrade to the book and I want you to be in the book. So maybe your picture will be in the book. So I can use that to get my, my players and my parents to send me pictures. And then again, this is another just one of the pictures that was in there. So just to show you how powerful this is, that you can be adding and getting pictures in a second or within seconds to your own account that now you have ownership of and you can do whatever you want. So really, really super cool, really super fun, a great way to get all of your memories tacked on and to get all your memories uploaded into one central location. So again, if you have a wedding coming up, a graduation party, if you, you know, if you're a teacher and if you're like, like it's an open house event, or maybe you have your kids doing the science fair. I have kids, I'm a chemistry teacher and I have kids doing demonstrations and labs, or when I'm doing a demonstration, I should say they're filming me. And sometimes when they do labs, they film themselves and their own reactions. And I want to see that. I want to collect a sample of that so that I can use it to promote the website and you know to pr uh, promote training videos in chemistry. And so again, you can really use this for any single thing you're ever wanting a picture or a video from. So again, all you gotta do is click below, check out the link, try it out for free. Cause again, maybe just click the link below that could be adding a picture or a random thing of yourself or of me, or it's just clicking the link to find out how you can test this all out yourself and get your own pictures uploaded and have those memories basically for the rest of your life. All right, we'll talk to you soon.